Mmm, 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 I love apples. Mmm. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a short tour of our home. But do you know what president that is? Well, I might be mistaken. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Saturdays with Scott. So, welcome to Homestead Tessie. As a quick intro that I always like doing, if this is your first time at Homestead Tessie, or if you've been a follower but you might have missed it, Homestead Tessie does not upload videos on a Saturday. It is her day of rest and time to reflect on life and also prepare for the following week to come. You'll see her tomorrow on Sunday's video and you'll see her every single day other than Saturdays and some Saturdays you might see her. I am her son Scott and today we are going to be cutting up apples and we're going to be dehydrating apples. I love dehydrated foods so to me this is extremely fun to do. So of course I'm going to put some other stuff in it but I'm going to be basically making my own seasoning for foods out of free food that I've gotten. So we're going to go ahead and dehydrate it. We're using a Nesco dehydrator. If you're interested in this dehydrator, I'll of course have a link in the video description. My mother gave this to me and my wife and I love this dehydrator. So it's been overall really good. All right guys, stay tuned. Let's get cutting. So these are the beets. Some are pretty, this one is pretty rough looking. So we're basically going to cut and see what we can salvage from it. So I'm just going to start off by cutting a nice chunk out. That's what it looks like. Now we can see the bad parts and we're going to go ahead and cut them out. Now that we got all the bad parts cut out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make probably go pretty thin because we want them to dry pretty good. Because we are going to be break, cr crushing them up. To put in our seasoning mix. And again, this is going to be my own homemade season mix. So we'll see how it turns out. It might turn out good, it might turn out bad. We'll see.
So I'm not quite sure how to really do this. Um, this is my first time, you know, doing anything like this. So we're just all playing along here just to see what happens. See how it dries. See if this turns into a good mix or just nothing really good at all. See if it even works, you know, whatever. This is all for fun. And you guys are along for the journey. And if it turns out amazing, the mix, well then, that's just a bonus for all of us. So guys, the leaves are re soon ready to be chopped up, uh, probably another half an hour for them. The other stuff is going to take a little longer, but that's alright. Stay tuned guys. Hello, welcome back everybody. So we are going to now chop up the dried leaves for use in my herb mix or seasoning mix, whatever you would like to call it. So this is how it goes. You twist this piece off, put the plastic uh, little cap on, then you put, if it works if it works that way. It's definitely, uh, there we go. There we go, all right. It's not really that much room, I mean, to put stuff, so let's go ahead test it out on some herbs. Okay, let's give this a shot. So these should be completely dry. It should be very simple to crush them. Now some of the leaves are actually not completely dried yet, so. So we'll pick out the wet pieces of the leaves. Makes a little bit of a mess, I will give that. So if you're gonna be using it, use it at an area that you don't mind if it gets a little messy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crunch it up like this with my hand, make it smaller. got zucchini drying that's gonna take a little bit especially some of the big pieces but we'll basically do the same thing we'll chop that up okay guys so we have now this tray that is completely done so what we're going to do is we're just going to put it in our mix container for now. So we're going to go ahead and just simply crunch this one up. We're just going to stick it in for now. We will mix everything up another time. 
Uh, the other seasonings and everything else, we're going to have to do also another time. That's still in the dehydrator strip. So you guys will see it, that video. But I'm going to have to pause it overnight. I don't want to leave it even on low overnight. So now we're just rotating these in here. Okay guys, so we are finished with the zucchini and I forget what this other stuff is. So we're now going to chop it up really fine. We'll see how it actually turns out. See if we can chop it up really good. So we're gonna place it in our cup here. And this will get added to our seasoning mix. was enough or how it's gonna look oh there's still some hard pieces in some bigger pieces that actually chopped it up really good <coughs> smells healthy that's for sure so I'll just keep doing it for a little bit and stay tuned guys all right, guys, I'm going to add this mix now in here. So this is with all the other seasoning. So we're going to mix that up. So we're mixing that up. So some of these we're going to have to refine again. They're still pretty thick. Now, I am worried about the other... Um, was it onion? I forget what it was that we had. We I don't know if that's going to chop as good. So let's find out. So we did get some powder from it, but we'll see if it can dehydrate even more. So we'll just leave it on for a while here and see what happens. I would like to apologize up front um, for the dishwasher. We do have the dishwasher running, so it is making a little noise. So let's see, you guys can't exactly see what I'm doing, so let's move the camera angle. How's that for a good angle? Can you guys see? See if we can rotate this a little bit just so you can get a better idea. Now, I love dehydrated foods, and people do it different ways. This is just how I do my apples. So, I just slice them in big slices and then I place them on the tray over here. You guys, can you? Yeah, you can. You guys can see that tray. And what I'll do is I'll cut this a big piece now that I'm getting near the core.
Now, like everyone should do, clean up after your mess. But we didn't really make too much of a mess. This is the seeds we got left. So, how many trays do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five trays. Let's get started. So we want them done sooner than later. Normally, I when well, we're starting this later in the day, so normally I would do this at between 125 and 135, but we're gonna do it for 145 since I'm gonna be right here. Stay tuned and I'll show you them when they're done. Okay, so it's early in the morning and let's show you guys what we're working with right now. So they're almost done. It depends on how crispy you like them. Mm. That is good. Hello everyone and welcome to a short tour of our home. Um, this of course will not be a full tour. Just gonna show you the downstairs um, and not our basement and not upstairs. So this will be the downstairs tour. So this is our dining room. We actually just got this from our local craft show. It's actually the biggest craft show on the east coast it's a pull out trash can but you don't wouldn't know it just looks like a cute little cabinet this of course is our Sheltie her bed now this is our Actually, it's going to be our second year living here in September. So, most of the stuff that we have, we've got it from hand, handed down or yard sales, thrift stores, or for good deals. So, you know, like there's a lot of empty spaces that we want to eventually fill, but what's the rush? So this is our living room. My parents-in-law, um, as part birthday, part Christmas gift, got us these beautiful blinds. My father-in-law just installed them. Really opens up this room, uh, just like these curtains. Did I say blinds? I meant curtains, curtains, blinds. I think you guys know. Uh, they got us this for, I think, last year for Christmas or our birthday gift. There is Emma! Say hi, Emma. She's just enjoying our sofa that we got for free. <laughs> um, so, the rocking chair we got for free. We still want to get matching padding, but this was my parents-in-laws, and they gave that. Um, Amish made book case. This we got from a parents in law. Amish made um, coat rack. We get a lot of our stuff that is made by authentic Amish. Um, here in Lancaster, PA, there's a lot of Amish in the area, and there's a store that does sell authentic. I know a lot of stores out there claim to have Amish furniture but it's really not um, these actually have the workers and actually hand make everything we have seen it it's very cool um, so this table with the light this was a gift from our sister-in-law I believe 
or no? Our sister-in-law, my sister-in-law, picked it out, and then my parents-in-law got us it for Christmas, I think. So this is the stairs going up to our bedroom, office, and other rooms. Here's just a cool thing. Um, with working, I find different rocks on the ground. So all these rocks are things I've found on the ground. And then some yard sale items that I've gotten. Here's a picture of our home from the outside that was hand drawn by, I think the last owners had someone do it. So, you know, a couple things, you can see a tree there. Uh, we had the trees taken down. The doors changed since that was drawn. Looks like the windows used to all be square pane. So our kitchen, we didn't really do too much. Um, we did the ceiling, painting the ceiling, the walls, um, the trim around the doors. You know, new curtains um, you know basically that's about it but we really want to open it up in here and of course a new stove um, we do really want to open it up someday and completely gut this whole kitchen and put in a new one we're thinking it would be awesome to have an island right here so cut out this wall even though we love this window these are actually old railroad ties um, and it made into a window in here. It is very unique, but we really do want to open it up. So by knocking this wall out, we can really open things up. Um, you know, this will be down, way down the road. There goes to our basement. Now into the addition, another family room. Um, so we actually don't spend much time in here like we used to. Mainly because when you're back here, it's private, but you feel kind of excluded. You know, we like sitting out there because it's, you know, you can see different dogs walking past, you know, owners and dogs. And just, it, it feels more open and, you know, doesn't feel like you're so included, secluded back here. So there's our wraparound couch, treadmill, and stuff. This, we actually have been training. Um my wife's Sheltie dog to run through it so that is what we're using yes it's actually a kids tunnel but we're training her to run through the tunnel because she had started some agility courses so our entertainment center that basically started it all um, this entertainment center was setting out for free at this home right around the time that my wife and I were looking for a place to buy and it just so happened that this was setting out for free and we liked it so I forget completely I think my wife and her father stopped in checked about it and the owner said yeah we, we just want to get rid of it for free we're actually soon gonna put our home which is this house on the market which you know one thing led to another led to another here we are something really really cool I don't know if you guys can see, <clears throat> but do you know what president that is? Well, I might be mistaking, I have to ask my wife, but I'm pretty sure it's this officer is her grandfather. That is right. This is an authentic photograph of Kennedy, um, and I'm pretty sure it was this officer. It, it was one that you can see, so, and I'm pretty sure, was it? Hey, hon. Was it this one? Yes. Yes. So it was him. So here is, um, this is actually our engagement photo. There's a wedding photo of ours and honeymoon photo. And there's, of course, beautiful Emma. She's got to be up here. I got these wooden roses for my wife, uh, I think when we were dating, as well as this preserved rose. This is my wife's grandfather's flag. Uh, he was in the service for, um, you know, police department. He was, uh, hon, was he a mounted horseman? 
or no? Uh, just a sergeant. Okay, but what, did he use the horses or no? No, I don't think so. Okay, so he was a sergeant. Um, for what, 30 years? 25? Um, I think it was 25. Yeah, I think you're right. 25 years. Um, and the odd thing is, her other grandfather was also, he was he a sergeant or anything? I'm not sure. But he was in the service for, I think, what, 25 years, 20? Something like that. Something like that. So that's crazy. Both her grandfathers were policemen for a long time. So, so that, that's just a cool... Um, police book. So yeah, that's his flag that was given when he when he passed away, right? Or when he okay, when he passed away. So, that is there's our bathroom. I don't know if I said that. So, here is our laundry room. Nothing exciting. Um I painted the walls and the ceiling. The cupboards are st still the same color. You know, changed the blinds out. Um, yeah, we do actually have two fridge raiders. <laughs> That's because they came with the house, so we kept them, and they do come in handy for when we have parties over. Parties over when we have parties. Let's go out back. So we have two beds, two full bathrooms. We have basically a family room and a living room kitchen, um, dining room, we have bathroom upstairs, bathroom downstairs, um, oh, we have a family room closet that's actually pretty big, so this is our deck, we have a little bit of grass over there, um, and our backyard, garage, our fence, um, our massive tree, and we have some, and there's the Explorer, and we got some, a little land past that. It's actually not as much land as you would think, but because it's actually long, it's not, so there's the neighbors, they have uh, some kids that are going crazy, <laughs> um, so it's not that big as you guys would think but it's pretty long which is kind of nice um, so we have a decent privacy with our backyard thanks to the trees so that is the backyard and our downstairs basements nothing really exciting you know furnace um, and just basically storage area and upstairs just bedroom and office and bathroom and basically that's about it so here's our closet room which is very very nice for stuff um, so we've redone a lot of stuff with this place so there's just our closet room it's needs reorganized and then there's a little attic but it's you can't stand up but it is more storage that actually covers a lot of room so that is a quick tour of our home um, maybe I'll have some photos so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for watching